my name is Michael Watson, I'm a composer and music producer, and I'm teaching you how to use third-party plugins in Ableton Live today. So whether you're on a Mac or on Windows, you can go to www.splice.com forward slash plugins forward slash free plugins, and there'll be a bunch of really cool free plugins that you can download. And I've downloaded one of Splice, and I'm going to show you now how to install it in Ableton Live. So I'm at splice.com forward slash plugins forward slash free plugins. And here there's a whole bunch of really cool plugins that you can get and try out. If you guys want me to do plugin reviews, please let me know, like comment like now so that I know. I'm going to download this one here called Pancake because um, I like pancakes. So I'm just going to hit download. Okay, so I've already downloaded this so that the tutorial goes a bit faster, but it'll say download for free. Click on it. It is going to ask you to put in your email and all of that. Then it's going to say you own this or owned. And you're going to have to click on it and then you can download it from the window that comes. So I've already done that. I'm just going to open the folder and then it's going to be a zip file. I've extracted it. So I've got this file over here. I open that and I'm going to unpack this package, this PKG file. So I double click it and it does works its magic. I've already done all of this. So you just keep clicking continue. <laughs> Another thing that I urge you guys to do is once you've done that, or even before you've done that, usually with these uh, free plugins, you get a text file. Please read them. Often readmes, or at least back in the day, they used to be pages and pages long and very intimidating. But these ones are super simple and often the installations for free plugins can vary. Like it might be a bit different to kind of like a native instrument plugin pack. So just read it. So I follow these instructions. <laughs> So now we just need to go into Ableton and make sure that Ableton can find this plugin and communicate with it. So if you watched my previous video, you would know command comma to go to your preferences or live preferences. On the left here, you got to hit this file folder thing and at the bottom it says plugin sources. What you downloaded could have been an audio unit, it could be a VST. Just make sure that you've got your audio units and your VST on and uh, your VST custom folders. So my plugin is actually in a different location. So I'm going to toggle to that place. Okay, so it's in this folder that I called splice and uh, it's over there. So I'm going to open it here. I'm just going to hit rescan. Now it should do it automatically after I browsed. Uh, let's see, what was it called? Pancake. How can I forget? So under you, uh, audio units, I've got cable guys. Those are the developers and I've got can pancake, can pancake, pancake too. And um, I'm just going to pull it in. And uh, this is pretty sweet. So it is a visualizer. Probably need to put some audio in here so I can visualize something. And uh, you can see the panning went to the left, to the right. Okay, so this isn't a plugin review. I'm not gonna start talking about pancakes because <laughs> I'm hungry. But yeah, it was super simple to install that. And uh, in the pipeline, I'm making a video of every single <laughs> native flippin' Ableton plugin that there is. If you're interested in that, subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching and have fun learning.